What is up guys, today we've got an awesome review of the Mitre Mark Schwarzer G2 Anza Pro Negative. That was a mouthful. But this is one of the, one of the coolest gloves I've ever used as, as uh, far as aesthetics go. Blue, white, and black. That's probably the best colorway, at, um, like I said in my Umbro video. But this glove is downright one of the coolest gloves I've ever used. So you've got neoprene here but latex up here and then dry fit so it's a pretty weird entry but it does fit ever so nice so just let me get this on now you might think that uh... durability does not go very well with the with this glove but it actually is much much better than it looks because this is black latex and if you don't know about black latex it's much tougher than white latex because white latex is softer but don't be fooled because this is actually one of the best latexes I've ever used. Now as far as all these um, rips go, I, I use these a ton because I play on three soccer teams because I'm actually pretty good. I'm not full of myself, I'm, I'm just saying I'm actually pretty good. But um, yeah, you've got this dry fit, which is the best place for dry fit I've ever seen. Now your, your hand naturally moves back because this is where um, the backhand stops. So it moves back like this, and it just gives your hands so much free movement. Now, this is all white with a gray stripes. Looks really good. And then you've got miter right here. You've got a blue line going right here with three black uh, fingers. And then you've got G2 there, as you can see. You've also got the white thumb. Kind of wraps over here. Super soft latex, like I said. Now, as you can see... <laughs> Like I said, I use these a ton, but latex on, on like the material part is not actually good. So you can see there are like cuts here, and it doesn't 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 look right. Now I'll just go through my ratings. The grip on this is probably a nine out of ten. Durability is probably an eight to eight and a half out of ten, because it actually wears out a lot um, a lot quicker than usual black latex does but it still gets the job done. Strap, I'd have to go with about a 2 out of 10 probably. This is probably one of the worst straps I've ever used in my life. I'll show you it to you really so quick. So it's just like really strong material. It's a, it's There's no like elastic on it or anything. The only thing I like about this um, this strap is that the colorway looks really good when it's on the glove and there's velcro all over it so it's not just like three designated strips of, of uh, velcro it's all over so you can get the best fit another bad thing about this is the durability on this is terrible this this, stra this strap wore out way quicker than the actual latex did on the glove so this is just like a terrible strap okay sorry I got a bit sidetracked there with the strap so this is pretty much the end of the review uh, there's honestly not a ton I can say about this. The only thing I missed really was that it has latex gussets. And that is about it. I covered pretty much everything about this glove. If I didn't, just post in the comments and I'll respond to it. Always like responding to comments. But if you could give me a like, a favorite, a subscribe, that would be awesome. And in the comments, tell me what your favorite glove brand is, what kind of cut you like, what kind of color latex you like favorite strap but thanks for watching you guys I'll bring you guys more glove reviews because I really enjoy doing these and I'll see you guys next time